Treasure Hunters, hello and welcome to the show today. Today's show is called Treasure Hunt and Art, so let's get to it. So anyway, guys, I can't get out and treasure hunt all the time, so I look for ways to occupy some of my time in between hunts. Um, I also look for ways to where uh, I could possibly help finance some of my searching and some of my expeditions. Uh, so anyway, this is one of the ways I do it. Uh, occasionally, I go out and I'll... I'll hit some of the thrift shops. I'll look to see if I can't pick up a couple of pieces of art. Um, I look for stuff that is like professionally framed, things that are um, originals, signed. Um, so anyway, I, I hit a couple of them today. I picked up six pieces uh, today. I got all six pieces for under eight bucks. Uh, one of the pieces was by Sally Huss. It's, uh, I figured it was the lowest valued piece uh, in, in the uh, entire thing that I bought today. I looked it up online. The one piece alone sells from anywhere from 16 to 25 bucks, and it's all it is is just a signed print, um, and it's it's a limited edition print. I think it was like number 294. But anyway, that piece was done in 1995. That one piece alone just doubled my investment for everything that I bought today. Anyway, out of the pieces I got today, I got three signed originals, uh, oil paintings. Uh, these two behind me, uh, this one's called Daisies, this one's called Butterflies. They were done by Yvonne W. Owen. Um, Yvonne W. Owen uh, lived in Bronx, Bronx, New York, now lives in the St. Louis area. Uh, I looked her up online. She's like 92 years old now. Um, I'm not sure if she's still painting or not. But anyway, I picked these two pieces up. They're, they're signed originals. Um, Anyway, anytime you can get a signed original, guys, you know, if you can get them for a buck, two bucks, you're not going to lose any money. I mean, just the time alone that goes into painting the, these these type of pictures alone is makes it worth more than what you're, you're paying for it when you're buying it at a buck or two bucks. And you never know. Sometimes you might get a score. Anytime I get a signed original, I take it as it's a score, guys. You're not going to lose money on it no matter what you do with the piece. That's what drew me to these two pieces anyway. The backs of them, they were professionally framed. They were done by the uh, the art studio, Bronxville, New York. Uh, the art studio in Bronxville, New York has a gallery, so I'm assuming that these might have even been in the gallery. Um, they frame stuff for local artists and stuff, and they also put them in the windows and stuff for display if you look this place up online. Anyway, guys, these two pieces are the best two pieces I think I got today. I did also get this painting. It's a, it's a signed original. It's from a very uh, well-known artist that goes by Elise. Um, I'm not sure what the value of this one is. Um, I'll look them all up. I'll, I'll probably end up selling these. Um, I... I do got other paintings around. I've been collecting them for a while uh, since I got into the Forest Fen treasure hunt. Like I said, it's things that I can't get out and hunt all the time. So it's like, uh, you know, we're always looking for that holy grail or something. So in, in my mind, this is a way of treasure hunting, just going out, trying to find uh, pieces of art. You know, if you can find something that's signed and it's an original, uh, you, you got to score, guys. Um, also, I picked these up today. These are uh, two pencil signed prints. Um, they're from an artist that goes by M. M. Perry. I haven't actually found the artist yet. Um, that's another thing. If you can actually figure out who the artist is, uh, a lot of times it's just hard to tell from the signature. Um, but that helps you get a value on the art if you can figure out what the signature is and who the actual artist is. Here's an image of the one where I got from Sally Huss. This is the one. It was done in 1995. Like I said, if you look it up online, it sells anywhere from 16 to 25 bucks. So, like I said, this one piece alone covered my entire investment for all six pieces that, that I did get today. So here's the back side of these uh, paintings when I said like professionally framed. You can see in the corners and stuff where they have the little uh, wood wedges in it. That's actually to stretch the canvas to get a good fit into the frame. Um, like I said, they were professionally done. Somebody went through this expense for a reason. At least that's one of the things that I look for. Uh, I look for the framing. I, I also look for something that stands out, something that is attractive to me when I look at it. You know, if it's if it's ugly, I, I don't. I'm not even interested in it because I don't think anybody else would really be interested in it. But that's just me. I mean, I go by what stands out to me. You know, I got the watercolor paintings. I, I love I love those. Those those really seem to stand out to me. So anytime I see something that's done in watercolor, if it's signed and it's an original, it. I pick it up. Like I said, anytime you can pick up a signed original, you're not going to lose money on it, guys. Take a chance on it. Spend a buck. Spend two bucks. Um, I know other people go around and they do this uh, all the time. Uh, they sell them on eBay. They make big money doing it, too. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that experience with you that I had today. Uh, I, like I said, I picked up a couple of nice pieces, so I feel that I scored anyway. Um, 
I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm Rick McDonald. I go by Illinois Ghost. If you haven't yet liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.